morning. I thought what I'd do to today is give a little review on my daily practice. Now there was a couple day break. I was traveling from California back here to New Mexico, so so I thought I would just show you a, free, a few um, what I've done in the last week and a half. So this was done out in California, and this is a more precise rendering, but a lot of my drawings are like this, using colored pencil. Anything to make it more interesting. Okay, then the... The first day that I got back, I wanted to um, just do some warm-ups. And oftentimes I'll take just objects and try to draw them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, but I'm always working on trying to do my perspective and stuff. So this definitely was interesting. Uh, so anyway, oops, sorry, I just hit my camera. Uh, this, uh, I started this on the the 13th, and uh, so I did a video, I think, on, on this, this one. This is the rest of them. And then I did a hand drawing. My best live model is my hand, so I did... I did a hand drawing here on the 14th, and then yesterday I did a salt shaker. Um, I decided that today I'm going to do rocks. I went out for my morning walk, and I picked up a couple of rocks, and I brought them back home. They're not very big. They're very little, but they could be big. You know, it could be massive if you wanted to put them in a picture. So here are my three rocks. And what I'll try to do is, um, let's see here. I'll get them. Let's see if I can get them in the picture. We'll see. Anyway, these are my three rocks. And I kind of wanted to set them up and uh, as a little still life. So what I'm going to try to do is do it in my red pencil so that I don't try to make it too realistic. So what I'm going to do first is give it a, a general outline. So I'm giving a general outline here, as I said, um, and trying to actually trying to draw some negative space and look at the negative space to try to get that right at, uh, in addition to the the actual rocks themselves. Um, I don't know if I've explained this before. I haven't on this video. Is that every morning I try to do a what is called kind of a warm-up sketch. And sometimes it gets too involved and I get too um, precise about things. And this morning I decided that after yesterday doing that salt shaker that took me hours that and was not really very much fun, that I would try to do one that would be uh, not so tedious and, and be fun because it's supposed to be a warm-up. This is not supposed to be my only drawing of the day. So and it's as a practice. So every morning when I get up, I spend an hour sketching things. So here I'm, I'm doing corrections with the with the blue pencil. I picked up my blue Ticonderoga uh, pencils, and these are erasable pencils. They're used by teachers for correcting papers, and they're 
not as expensive as um, uh, the colored pencils by Prismacolor. And uh, and then I here I'm uh, I'm I'm starting to lay out the shadows, and I like to do that fairly early in the drawing because it helps me kind of see the th three dimensionality of it and where I would like to have things cross over, and and especially now I'm watching what I'm doing because this is a voiceover. I should have overlapped. The, those two rocks that I'm 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 doing the shadows on, um, but hindsight. Anyway, so um, I need to go in and start doing some textures, and I notice there I'm I'm trying to thin the line because I outline the lines just to set up where things are, but often. I will um, erase the highlight side of it. Um, I don't mind a hard line on the uh, cast shadow side because um, it just it doesn't bother me. But on the highlight side or facing the, the sun, which is on the left side, I, I want those, I don't want it to be lined. So, uh, now I'm starting to put the textures in and um, experimenting with uh, different textures for the three different rocks. This particular rock that I'm working on, the whole surface is real pebbly. It is not a flat rock. Uh, it's just minute little bumps all over it and so I'm just kind of jumping around and, and uh, trying to give a texture that I think might work on it and when I want it to be more shadowed I just go over it another time with the same little jumping around and it'll, it'll darken it. Um, now my project that I'm going to do tomorrow is um, I'm going to do some some plain air watercolor down by the river. I live not too far away f from the Rio Grande so I'm going to go down there and uh, take my watercolors and my camera and do a um, do some some watercolor some plain air sketching and um, then and then on on Wednesday I'll put up I'll put up that that video and uh, here, let me get back to my drawing. Um, here, I'm trying to get rid of the the lines itself on these rocks. Now, if you'll notice, I've totally ignored the rock on the right, and I should have. Ah, now we're starting at it. I I should have kind of worked all three of them, not at at the same time, but bring them up to a certain finishness and then go back and then bring them all up to another finish um, a little bit more detailed finish but I guess I'm more interested in the two on the on the left anyway so we'll um, here we go now I'll, I'll get back to that one but the things that I need to think about when I do do some more of this now Tomorrow I'll still do my morning. Back back to what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll still be doing my morning uh, journaling, and uh, then when I'm finished with that, I'll get everything ready and and take a, a drive and down the uh, down the canyon. Uh, the the neat thing is that right now we're starting to get spring runoff and so uh, the Rio Grande is is coming up it was quite low and so now it's starting to come up and it's just really fun to uh, uh, 
watch the water go by. It's just a very pretty place. And I'll take some pictures and I'll, I'll show you some pictures. Now here I'm starting to I'm starting to work all over in it and bring things out and take things back and and uh, so I'm really but you know I'm still not I'm still ignoring that one ah there I go I decided I'm going to work on that a little bit more and get it more rock rock like and a blue rock but Actually, I really enjoy coloring and or or drawing with colored pencils. I don't know what it is. I just like the look of it, and uh, so I go back and forth. I mean, graphite. I have done some morning sketches in watercolor, um, and uh, and then either they'll all. I've done some hands with you know my my model my left hand is my model um, with just red markers um, Holly Brown likes to do her sketches in in red and I just think that's that's so interesting um, so anyway I'm finishing up here with and I decided to throw in some red in the shadows and if I would just stop at one point and not throw too much in but I'm I'm liking it and there it is. So if you enjoyed this video um, and would like to see more of them please subscribe uh, and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'm really looking forward to going tomorrow to go plein air sketching. Bye bye.